All right, what is going on? Welcome back to Geeks Game. So appreciate y'all for coming through, checking out the channel. You already know what time it is. Today we're gonna go ahead and um, man, we definitely gonna build us a PC, man. Um, this is something I always wanted to do. Um, so today we here at, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to give y'all a quick look through on the PC and stuff like that before I go ahead and get to building on it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it probably gonna be skipped through and stuff like that. I don't want to take, you know what I'm saying? Show y'all no two hour clip or nothing like that. So you know what I'm saying? Just in case y'all want to. So appreciate that. One, there they go. Yeah, get a quick little look. So this one right here is supposed to be RBG. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's a nice little old mid tower or whatever case. And not take nothing off of it yet or whatever case. So definitely gonna do that a little bit later. Let's so get a little look. I don't know how good the camera is. Oh my God, you did. Um, sooner or later, what I do want to do is I want to take the panel off down at the bottom. And I'll uh, probably cut like some type of hole in it. That way I can read the CPU with some type of screen. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Tell it. This one right here, definitely gonna unbox this. Your boy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is the 3060, you feel what I'm saying? G4, you feel what I'm saying? RTX, you feel what I'm saying? Definitely went on and got the uh, Vengeance. Uh, this is the RAM and memory. I had to go ahead and grab both of those. Of course, you see the Ryzen on here, right? Uh, nine. 5900X, got a liquid cooler over here, and motherboard that's gonna be the B5500. Uh, you got what I'm saying? I'm definitely gonna put that in there. And, uh, you know, here goes the uh, cooler. And the power that I happen to have for it is um, a 850 watt. Uh, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Once again, you feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and let's get the build. You did. All right, before I do anything else, uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do for real is uh, I definitely wanna take off this uh, panel and uh, see exactly what I'm working with. Um, for those of you all who don't know, this is my first time uh, building a PC thing, like a uh, scrap wood thing. Um, I have upgraded PCs, stuff like that but never quite feel me. All right, and it comes with the uh, mesh top and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So in that way, uh, definitely gonna probably put my uh, water cooling up here at the top and I turn that in. And it comes with, I'm um, guessing this is the wires for the LED fans. All right, this is HD audio. And I'm not sure that what cord that is. And we're in this the RBG right here. And I'm taking off both uh, the front and the back panel. Of course, because you know what I'm saying, I definitely don't want to run the wires looking all crazy and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? One of my, yeah, all the way out. Man, this one is tight, bro. Feel me? Let me check out some of these wires and see if that's what they got ran. Of course, down in the bio, I'm definitely going to leave uh, all the parts that I definitely have. Hopefully I can remember how to put that back on. All right, got you. And this is how you get to the uh, box of accessories.
I like this. New egg, I like this, buddy. Brody, I like this. Alright, I'm supposing this is. Okay, and the little screws is probably motherboard screws. Alright, it was nice seeing exactly everything that's in here, or whatever the case. Um, this thing I'm going for is definitely that motherboard. This right here definitely looks like we're going to put the SSDs, uh, power, the memory. All right, but I happen to have a lot of external memory. I'm not going to break my um, external cards down into internal cards. You know what I'm saying? I used to do that back in the days, whatever the case, I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, no, I I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave them as is and uh, just run them external for now until I happen to get some internal one. But the uh, SSDs and stuff like that that I currently have, I'm good with what I have. like some for uh, USBs. All right. All right, let's get to it. This is it, the bad mama jam. I know this looks confusing. <laughs> Man, I've been waiting on this. Oh, yeah. And it literally lets you know on the motherboard exactly where it, which one is first as far as the DVR. That's dope, if y'all can see that. That's dope. I'm just uh, reading around it. System fan two. Okay, PC. Okay, so everything is literally late. Word. And this is for my AIO. At least I was supposed. Got you. This right here must be up right here in the corner. Definitely is. You can see the arrow. The arrow, see, it's very, very small. Extremely small. But hey, you can see it. So, the first thing that I think that I'm going to start off with is probably my um, baby, my Ryzen.
Coba coba aja. Oh iya, red tip. Nah, saya kan. Oh. Saya kan. Nah, tu nama dia sudah. Close down on that ledge. Good to go. Got it facing the right way. I can definitely tell. You can look at it. Uh, both of them got arrows facing the same way. I'm going to put my um, thermal paste on um, after and not before. Because uh, I'm dealing with AOI. These two right here, first one. Ram. Definitely want to pop those out. And you definitely want to make sure that's facing the right way. You basically, you know, if you don't know, you know, you can just basically put it up to it. And uh, you can look at it in tail. And that's going to be a two, one side at a time. So you either hear a click. I heard that one. Second one just came on that side just a second ago. And time for the second one. Yeah, I don't know how you feel when you're nervous. Okay, that one I actually just now got the cook. And you can also tell when they're down, you can look at them and see when the clamps are all in line. Okay, guys. So next, I'm going to go ahead and go with my MB and SD card. I went on and went with the uh, 500 gigabytes because last time uh, inside my system, I happened to have I think it's 256 megabytes, whatever case, not enough, um, you know, but, you know, I just want to make sure you dig what I'm saying, so, yeah. And this I actually got from, uh, <laughs> um, what is it, Office Depot or something like that, Office Max or somebody, yeah. You know, and they normally the high spot that you go to. You feel what I'm saying? We got this thing in here. Of course, the reason why I went with the uh, motherboard that I went with was because I know that I can exchange and change out a lot of things. Um, so, you know, anytime I want to upgrade or anything like that, I can definitely, um, you know, handle it like that. And with this card right here, it definitely goes right here. You can definitely tell, you can look at it. Um, anybody that's a builder, mechanic, play puzzles, anything like that, you can definitely tell what goes where um, by just kind of looking at it. All right, with this card right here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put this in kind of at a 30 degree angle, and you are going to use a little bit of force that you Click, bring it down. Okay, all right, you're gonna do is just uh, screw that in. I kind of should put this screw off. All right, you just press down on it and you screw that back on there. All right, so so far that's the um, SSD. Um, that's going to be the M2. Uh, basically, already down. You got the M2 down. You have the CPU down. And you have the RAM down. All right. All right. I know you guys can't see all the way up in there, um, but uh, 
basically got to go ahead and lay down that motherboard inside of here inside of here there are rivets if you can see those some of those are already placed you understand so uh that's something that we kind of don't have to worry about as far as those and you can already see the way that it's going to go in that's the back end goes you know with the back end. so i'm going to go ahead and get to placing that in. and uh there are screws that came with the motherboard i mean uh, not the motherboard but came with the uh came with the box and uh on the cpu i mean on the motherboard sorry about that on the motherboard there are also you know little spots where it tells you exactly where it goes so you just line those up with that Right, man, fit exactly perfect. There we go. He's definitely in the way. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. Of course, the screws came uh, inside of the box. So I'm gonna use the box screws. Um, they're gonna be the smallest screws out of all of the screws. This I know because I, you know, of course, I've uh, dealt with PCs before. I know. So go ahead and get a screw down. Yeah, these screws are real, real tiny, so. Right, you just want to get a snug and that's it you're not trying to you know break her off in there or nothing like that so once you get them up in there uh you already know Oh, 
Okay, now I got the CPU, motherboard, RAM, and SSD. That's one SSD in. Uh, that's just the M2. All right. Of course, the last thing that I'm definitely gonna do is the water cooling. So let me go ahead and set that baby up. Well, I guess you guys can take a look at it. What does it look like so far? I guess I might as well start running the wires and stuff like that. Man. And I'm definitely going to uh, try to put as many of them around the back as possible. So uh, some of that I might actually see. All right, I guess I'll start going ahead and opening up and uh, putting that battery source in there. That's the power source right here. Uh, fully uh, module and I'm gonna go ahead and sling this one in here and then the uh, SD cord screws go in the back plug me in of course, you know you gotta have plug. Oh, these million and one cords. Hopefully, they all labeled. Which, yeah, it's gonna be the PCIe. Power's nice and in. I'm gonna go ahead and run these cords. Then I start working on putting on my uh, SDs and things like that. All right, I was able to go ahead and get most of the uh, wires in, not all of them. 
Um, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open up everything else a little bit so that way I can go ahead and uh, see exactly what all I need as far as space wise and things like that. So, man, I hate I work it like that. I just don't like working stuff like that. Just a second. And of course, you know the big part right here. Head out the way. Now let's get this box open. Man, I'm feeling like a two year old. Now it's gotta be top. Yeah, they made this one hard. Without a doubt. Alright, obviously. Okay, that's not bad. like a radiator, you know, car radiator. All right, thermal paste did not come on, which is cool. Definitely went and got my own. And the two fans that come on it. Here they go right here. And some more screws and wires. Don't we just love those? Oh, and it does come with thermal paste. Right there. Most likely still gonna use my own thermal paste or whatever case. So I just got about three more items I say to hook up, but I still gotta finish off wiring it up. But you know in between break time, you know what I'm saying? You take a quick little break. You dig? Can't wait though. Thank you. 
Let's see what we got. Eight. Eight. Definitely gonna have to get all that stuff up in a minute. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's what's up. It's a nice little um, book basically on how to that in your, uh, your GPU. That's, that's nice. Kind of in a kitty version. Uh, still nice. And this is the bad baby. Right here. Yeah. I have no idea if she's going to light up or not. I hope she does. What is the possibility that she does? I'm going to go ahead and open her up because I do need to see exactly well, why is I need to get a plug in and get a weapon? She's a deep, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is pure beauty. Oh man. Of course, she's uh, gonna go in this way right here and it's gonna definitely take. Most likely two slides. This is beautiful. All right. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start working on putting the GPU in. First thing I gotta uh, basically line it up, pop out the holes that I need popped out. All right, those cords go down here, this is the power source, basically. And it's gonna go in like this. That's gonna be should be right there. Right. 
just want to make sure I double check which ones I need. come out real easy. All you gotta do is just unscrew it and they just pop out. I like that actually. All right, and for me, I had to take out the side panel. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in now. Uh, for me, I had to take off the side panels right here. Um, couldn't see that. Um, so in that way, I can go ahead and get this thing in here now. Uh, that's it. Y'all heard it. All right, I'm gonna screw in and put this side panel back on. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this uh, GPU. Oh, let me get up and do this. Alright, and this right here is mainly the, it's basically the set the power supply. Alright, I finally got that cable in. right here in the front I'm going to definitely move them probably gonna move one in the back and one up here at the top you know what I'm saying because uh, basically I just don't like the uh, the placement of those because I got the uh, my AOI or whatever case and I want my AOI to kind of come in right here on this front part right here so I'm gonna move those two over there to that one
Now I got the uh, fans moved. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, AOI uh, fans on and uh, get ready for the AOI. All right, and the fans I'm I'm gonna put on the uh, outside instead of the inside. Um, I should have enough space for that, so. All right, also at the same time, I also got to figure out exactly which way I want the hell out of actually go. Um, don't forget to pull out that sticker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
definitely don't want to overheat your stuff. Uh, I'm not going to pull mine off right now, but I'm not going to forget it either. I think I'm going to place mine somewhat upwards like this. Down. But I also got a couple things I got to do before I even do this part because I got to um, put a bracket on here and uh, screw and make sure that that bracket is underneath because down in here I got to make sure that I'm able to clamp it too. All right, and these are the little things that I'm talking about. Basically, they're going to sit in there, cut like that. was able to go ahead and get the cooler the way that it's supposed to be you feel what I'm saying so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it on and it's gonna sit kind of like that right there some of these long screws and get them screwed in there. Alright, make sure to hold that one for a second, that screw. Get the second one up in here. And I believe my case is uh, kind of thick enough or big enough so I can put my bands on the outside. Um, if not, I'm definitely going to have to change them. That's going to be a no go. We don't want no bad news. Yes, definitely can. No problem. And that way it'll probably get a better airflow. So far, um, how I have the airflow is I have the airflow coming. I want it coming from this way, coming through and out and as well as out. You know what I'm saying? This one right here, um, I may have it going and when I get another one going in now. But for now, this is what I'm gonna do with it. Thank you. 
Alright, and I'm finna get back to wiring. Uh, before I put that CPU on. That's it. Screw that bad baby there. Put it on each side. Put it all the way. Make sure I get the rest of these wires. Uh, there's only about a few of them left, about two or three of them, or whatnot. Uh, light LED. And I'm gonna get those wires. 